this video, I'm using the blood mark, I mean the uh, black bolt, another imperial one. This is the fighter aircraft on imperial side I spend the most time on, because I think the other imperial fighters look kind of dumb. Uh, at least now, up until the time they had a blood mark. But, anyways, I almost didn't record this match because there was a lot of good Republic players and a whole bunch of Imperial beginners, so it was obvious from the loading screen we were going to lose. But, I had some fun with it. I killed that guy, Dats Who, right at the start, and ever since then he was going after me. <laughs> So, I had some really good dogfights, because I managed to lure them away from the especially good players, so for, a long, for the longest time, we, I got to drag him into a one-on-one -on -one match. He's pretty good at maneuvering, really. A lot of passes, and he seemed to come about even quicker than me, so he must have some upgraded maneuverability on his fighter. I think he's using concussion missiles though, and the lock on time on those is a bit iffy, so. I was having a lot of uh, fortune in evading all his missile locks. We had some good matches. Even if one of his buddies did keep getting in the way. <laughs> but oh well, that was kind of a fun challenge. Trying to evade the lock-ons while killing this guy. Since the since the 7.2 patch, I managed to fully upgrade the thermite torpedoes on my Black Bolt. They have great range, but their lock-on time is very long, so I rarely get to fire one off. And they don't seem to deal nearly as much useful damage as the proton torpedoes. But they come into play fairly often. ability, I forget what it was called. Disruptive armor? Something like that. Disruption field? <laughs> I tend to do that when going head to head, but uh, it ends badly for me as often as it ends good. This guy was really good at flying through some of these buildings, I notice. Led to some fun matches. <laughs> I just held up there and waited for him to fly by. He was ready for me, but I think I still managed to turn it into a, a slight advantage. I managed to use the Black Bolt speed to my advantage quite well in this one. got that lock on. <laughs> See those thermite torpedoes? They just don't deal much damage sometimes. I don't get it, because some because I've had times before where I fired the thermite torpedoes and one-shotted people. One-shotted a bomber, in fact. I think it was that Makrov guy. But for some reason, sometimes they just don't seem to deal all that much damage at all. Another missed lock-on. He's, he's heading for the greater battle, I guess. That was a quick turn. I wonder if he attempted a Kulligarn turn on that one. He 
is so close to dead. All I need is one hit on his hull. One good hit. It's tough though wearing down those shields if you don't have any close range missiles. And he's doing a good job evading and letting his shields recharge. Now he's leading me through the battle, hoping one of his buddies will get on my case so I leave him alone. Not gonna happen. There he goes running through the buildings again. Oh, and he self-destructed. <laughs> Just in time, too, that gunship was aiming for me. I guess that's what that is. I'm surprised I got this guy so quick. Those flash fires are normally pretty hard to lock onto. <laughs> there he is again, respawning and targeting me right off the bat. This guy is a vengeful fellow. <laughs> Got my shields and engine all charged up. Going after somebody else trying to give that to a break from dogfighting. This guy's flying one of those Clarions. And that's about all for that match. Pretty nasty loss. A lot of matches are unfortunately one-sided like this. <laughs>